What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel here at RCD. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, hashtag RCD, good food changes the mood, okay? So tonight we're going to prepare, tonight I'm going to prepare a shrimp carbonara. I had the taste for some good pasta, right? And I used to go to, um, what is the name of that restaurant? Uh, starts with the C. I can't think about it, but I'll put it in the description box. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Start with, it starts with the C. Anyways, we're going to get into making the shrimp carbonara, okay? So what we have here is, here's our ingredients here. We have some bacon, parsley, um, some peppers. We have our spaghetti noodles. We have our colossal shrimp that we picked up from, um, from Aldi, our colossal shrimp here. And so we're going to just go ahead and jump straight into this, um, this menu. I mean, we're going to jump straight into this dish. Okay. So I grabbed some spaghetti noodles. I already have my water boiling right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop my spaghetti noodles in here. Now, if you guys don't know, it's like a rule that you do not break the spaghetti noodles. Like growing up, I used to just break them. But as I became a chef and doing my research and everything, especially when it comes down to pastas, and actually I'm going to start making my own pasta. But for right now, we're going to use these, okay? So I'm not going to break them. I'm just going to just put them right here in the water. All right, guys, so I already have my noodles boiling. I'm going to let those boil for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. The water was already hot, so that's not going to take long, okay? So I already have my pan heated up for my bacon here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in the pan. Y'all know I'm all about in and out the kitchen, okay? So you already know this is gonna be real quick. Put a little olive oil in the pan with the bacon, even though it does produce its own, you know, its own grease. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the bacon down. And once the bacon is cooked down, I'm going to add my shrimp to this same situation. It's gonna be real quick, real amazing, real delicious, and real fulfilling, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm always throwing in my peppers, my garlic, um, with my bacon, because this is going to help with the flavors as well. So I'm going to. All right, make sure that is in there. And then I'm going to add some garlic to this as well. And you can just, you know, just take like a little fork spoon, just put that in there like that. You know what, guys? I'm not really like a big pasta person. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see. You don't see that much pasta on my page. However, when I do make it, um, you know, I like to do my damn thing with it. Excuse the language. You know. Excuse the language, guys. But this is my personality. You guys will see so many different sides of me. You know, I love God. Let me make that, let me just make that first and foremost. I love God, I love gospel music, I love inspirational music, I love to inspire, empire, I mean, <laughs> inspire, empower, and uplift. So not only will you guys see so many different, different types, different sides of my personality, um, I love to inspire, so yeah. You know, I had someone ask me, do I love doing YouTube channel? I mean, do I love doing my YouTube channel? And I really do because I love being in front of the camera. I love getting, letting people get to know who I am. And I think that I do a good job with that on my, on my page as well. All right, so I'm gonna turn the heat up on this. And I want this bacon to get real crispy. So I'm gonna let that cook. And I'm gonna check on our noodles. Like I said, they were already boiling. I'm just gonna get, uh-oh. I'm gonna give them a good stir. And in the meantime, while I'm working on these two items, um, I'm gonna take my shrimp and I'm going to slightly butterfly them. These are the ones that I picked up from Aldi, the Colossal Shrimps. So what I'm gonna do is, is just take, they're already kind of cut in the middle already, but I'm gonna just take it and just run the knife through it just like that. So when I cook them, I'm gonna cook it downside like this. So basically the shrimp is gonna be sitting like that. And it's gonna work good for the presentation purposes as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just butterfly these shrimp. And I like to keep the tail on as well for presentation purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Make them sit up like that. Got them things sitting pretty. 
All right, and when I season my shrimp, I'm going to use, all right guys, let me work, turn this heat down on the bacon a little bit. All right, make sure that you're checking on your noodles as well. You don't want them to be overcooked. All right, they're coming along good. When I make my dishes, sometimes I don't have to have like vegetables with it or bread. I'm like one of those persons that, um, one of those cooks, I mean chefs, that you can just, you know, one dish is good for me. I don't have to have all the sides. I have my shrimp butterfly here and I'm just going to hit it with our lavender seasoning. Just gonna just put it like that. And this seasoning is real good on all type of seafood, salads and vegetables. We're gonna do it with that. And then also I'm gonna take our Kinders, my favorite. They need to go ahead and sponsor me because I really like their seasoning, I really do. And I use it on a lot of my food. Okay, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and just sprinkle that on the shrimp. Make sure that you, you know, season in the shrimp well. I wanna make sure that they get a good sear because they're gonna go in the same pan that I did my, um, my bacon in. So in the meantime, we're gonna check on the bacon as well. All right. So let's see what the bacon's doing, all right. I wanted to get a little bit more crispier. So when we mix it in the pasta, it's still kinda crispy. All right, I'm gonna add some scallions to this. And when we finish, when we finish um, mixing our pasta, I'm going to add a little arugula to it as well. All right. Now I hope you guys are enjoying this recipe as well. Like I said, it's very simple. Um, very, you know, you didn't use too many ingredients. Um, I know you guys are gonna be waiting on my lavender lemon pepper seasoning. Um, so that should be coming soon. But other than that, just get you some sea salt, garlic, paprika. You wanna definitely use like a, a sea salt, like a coarse one like this right here, because it helps, like you don't have to use that much either. All right, so I'm actually, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on the, on, the, on the bacon. So I'm gonna show you guys how the bacon and the peppers are looking. And guys, I went to the farmers, our local farmers market here in Atlanta, and it is a truffle, and I picked up this cheese. It's a truffle cheddar cheese. I've never tasted cheese before, but I'm super excited to try it. If you're a cheese person, then you should know um, how it goes when you go to the seat. I mean, when you go to the cheese section, it's like, okay, you already be thinking about what type of wine I'm going to pair this with. And actually, with this type of um, this dish, I think that um, well, a good champagne or white wine would be good as well. So I'm going to check on our noodles here. I'm just going to do one little pinch. Don't act like y'all. You know, you know how you do it when you want to see if your noodles done. You just take it. If you go like that, it's done, okay. So I'm going to remove this and drain the water. Today was such a good day for me, y'all. Like, it was so good. And um, I got some things planned for the weekend. I'm heading out of town next week to California for some work. It's just, listen, the opportunities are limitless. Lim lim <laughs> The opportunities are limitless, okay? Right now. The doors are opening and Chef Michelle is walking through them, okay? They say walk, 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 yes. I'm walking through them. And they say catch flights, not feelings. I'm feeling them on that. You know, they used to say that and I ain't know. But you know, when once you go through some things, go through some transitions, you're like, you know what? I'm about to live life and walk through these doors again. Let me walk again. All right, let me check on the bacon, y'all. It's about to burn. All right, so I'm gonna set the bacon to the side right here. All right. And then I'm gonna turn the temperature down, add a little olive oil, because we still have some bacon grease in here, so that's gonna be good for the shrimp as well. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm just gonna put the shrimp down, just like this. When you do the shrimp like this, it's just giving, it, it's just a great presentation on it. Like, I like my shrimp to be fancy. I ain't gonna, listen, yes. 
So I'm gonna let these cook for a little bit. Once the shrimp is done, I'm going to add the noodles back to the pan. Um, and I'm gonna use my heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna start creating just a light sauce. It's not gonna be like a Alfredo pasta or anything like that. This is gonna be a light sauce and um, yeah, we're gonna be done. Once the pasta is done, I'm just gonna put in some arugula as well. I've been feeling arugula lately and um, it just always helps out with the flavors as well. So I'm gonna toss the pasta with that. When we're done, we're gonna check on our shrimp. In the meantime, I'm gonna open up the truffle cheese so as soon as we start building our sauce, I can go ahead and just shave this in there. You can use any type of cheese you like. You can use Parmesan cheese, um, whatever you like. I just like to use, oh my gosh, y'all. When I tell you this truffle cheese, cheddar cheese smells so good, it stopped me all in my tracks, okay? But like I was saying, you can use whatever Romano cheese, um, whatever cheese you like, again, all right? So I'm gonna go with this truffle cheese. So let me show you guys, it has a nice little sear to it, as you can see. And again, make sure that you are using raw shrimp. Make sure you get you a nice size shrimp. Cause you don't want, when you eat shrimp, you don't want those little baby, those little baby shrimps, okay? All right. A little bit more olive oil. Did I bring some butter out? Guys, so how I'm gonna cook a pasta without butter, right? So I'm finishing up my shrimp here. I just added some butter in scallions. As you can see, I'm gonna just add some butter because I'm getting ready to put my noodles in here and my bacon. So I just want to go ahead and start building a sauce as well. So the shrimp are done. I'm going to take those out. So I'm gonna put these to the side here. Now with the with the sauce that's still in here, I'm gonna add two tables two tablespoons of butter. Right? I'm gonna add the butter in there, and then I'm gonna grab my noodles. So I'm just gonna let the let the noodles just saturate in all of the bacon and oils that was in here. Gonna add a little bit more olive oil. I'm gonna turn the heat up to on seven. Just let that saturate in there. All right, so I'm gonna go back and add um, some heavy whipping cream. And, Maybe I should have had a measuring cup. I'm gonna do better, y'all. I'm gonna do better. It's just the first couple of episodes, okay? So this is one fourth cup of um, heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put two of those in there, okay? Actually three. There's only a little bit in here, so I'm not gonna save it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm going to start grating my cheese. And I could have made the sauce before that, but this is just an easy way to, you know, go ahead and get it done. Definitely smells amazing. So I'm just gonna let that sit while it starts to, you know, get a little thick. And it's already happening right now. In the meantime, I'm gonna add some more of the, um, the Kinder's Seafood Blend. Gonna add a little. What we have here is shrimp carbonara, Chef Rochelle's way. Quick, easy dinner for you and your family to sit down and enjoy. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this recipe. I hope you guys love my cooking style, how open I am, my personality, and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next episode. Make sure to hashtag good food changes the mood because it does. Bye-bye.